the smell is just amazing as well. So it's spring and it's bluebell fever for photographers in the UK and with good reason. I mean, look, they're, they're beautiful. It's nice to spend a morning in a bluebell wood. I can't think of many better ways of doing it. But I nearly didn't come here this morning and it wasn't for any particular reason. It wasn't because I was umming and ahhing and deciding whether I should or not. It was more that I just hadn't planned to and I think that that happens a lot with myself and, and other photographers too. That you get on with the rest of your life and not every second of the day is photography, photography, photography. You just manage to make a plan and get out when you can, but sometimes the opportunity comes up where you can just head out. And that's kind of what happened with me. So last night I was going to bed fairly late actually and just uh, ended up chatting a bit with Stu Meach on, uh, on Instagram. If you don't know Stu, then go and check him out. And he'd been here last night and uh, I could see from his his uh, Instagram story that it was looking really good here today. And uh, and he was just debating whether or not he would come here this morning because it's quite a long drive for him and he felt that he would come if there were mist but the chance wasn't that likely. And then that made me think, well, what if there is going to be some mist? It would be brilliant to catch that. And so then I, late last night I set my alarm and decided that I would come here this morning. Stu didn't make it. Sorry Stu. There was a bit of mist. Not a lot, but enough to enough to give a little bit of a sort of an eerie or that ethereal sense. I'm not sure I like that word. But either way, it's been so beautiful here this morning and I was the only one in this wood and if you know this place at all, it's Badbury Clump in Oxfordshire, you'll know that in bluebell season pretty much every sunrise is filled with photographers but there was nobody else here and I got to enjoy it all to myself. And it kind of got me thinking anyway that we don't always get those opportunities, those last minute moments where we can just run out and head out somewhere beautiful. And I'm lucky that I have this place really close by to where I live. But it's more so just taking those opportunities when you hadn't really even considered it. Think of all those times that you've had the best time of your life when you didn't expect to. And I think that what I'm trying to say here is something that I say to a lot of people and it's something that seems to keep recurring in my life, but I never regret doing the things that I've decided to do. And to qualify that, what I mean is that if I choose to do something, whether it goes right or wrong, I don't regret having done it. And I'm sure that's going to be the same for a lot of people. Last night I could have said, well, I'm really tired, I've been working hard this week, I'm not going to get up for the sunrise but I'm so glad I did. I know that that's often touted in YouTube videos and other places of inspiration, but I'm sure you wouldn't regret it too. So have a great day. It was of course a beautiful morning and the slight mist really did help create a bit of separation in the trees and I captured a couple of images that I'm happy to share with you here. But my favourite image from this woodland wasn't one of these, it was actually one I captured a week earlier with even less mist and even less bluebells. But what I really like about it is the contrast and just how it's captured the feeling that I had of being there on the morning. It was really beautiful. And this image is available as a print on my website. I'll include a link down below.